Hello, welcome back to the Counterman Education Center. Today we're going to tackle the new question of, what do you sell the electric car? In our world, the only thing constant is change itself. While the basic premise of transportation remains the same, the methods utilized to get to our destination remains very fluid. For the last century, the internal combustion engine has predominantly been the powering method of choice. The winds of change are certainly in the air today, with electrification movements under full steam. In order to fully understand our opportunities to sell into this market, it is important to understand the basics of how these systems work. For this episode, let's break them into three categories. First is the electric vehicle. This would be like the Tesla or the Chevy Volt. These vehicles are completely electric. They have no other method of motoring than the electric charge they carry on board. Next in line would be the hybrid vehicles. These are probably the most common on the scene today. This technology has been with us for quite a few years. It uses two methods of moving the vehicle an electric motor for low speeds or less demanding propulsion, and a full internal combustion or diesel engine for the main method of motivation. There are, of course, many iterations of this design, and each manufacturer has their own unique twist on how to accomplish this blend between standard and electric drive. The third and last variant we will discuss here is the PHEV. This one is the newest one on the scene and stands for Plug-In Hybrid Electric Vehicle. There are already 39 of these available and they range from Ferraris to minivans. The electrical range on these vehicles varies dramatically. The $500,000 plus Ferrari can make it eight miles on electric, while the $40,000 Pacifica can go 32 miles on electric only. Both vehicles have a dependable internal combustion power plant to take over when the juice runs out. What does all this mean for us on the counter providing parts for our repairs? There are many out there who believe the electric vehicle will spell the end of the parts business. They say electric vehicles have far fewer moving parts. Well, there are over 280 million vehicles in the United States and more being registered every year. Tesla, who is by far the largest electric vehicle producer, has yet to sell a million vehicles in any one year. I would not look for the all-electric vehicle to dominate the market anytime soon. The other two types of vehicles retain an internal combustion engine power supply to move them around. So the answer to the question of what to sell them is simple. The very same things we've been providing them for the last hundred years. They all have brakes, they all have steering and suspension components, and the overall systems on the vehicles remain intact. Will you sell different components? Of course you will. Over time, the mix of parts will change. You will sell fewer fuel pumps and more alternators. Relays and controllers will definitely ramp up. There will be huge opportunities in these areas. The need for electrical testing devices will be very great. It is incumbent upon all of us on the counter to stay up on new technologies and provide the parts our repairers need. It's what we do. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.